yo what's going on guys welcome back to afk journey now in today's video we are going to check out the brand new elite character coca now if you guys haven't watched my last video i didn't really talk about this unit but i pretty much showed you guys uh coca this character right here so i'm pretty sure she is the brand new elite unit and i just got her today and i'm not gonna lie this unit is kind of insane but before I get started on the video, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. And if you guys are new here on the channel, I have a Discord server. So if you guys are interested, I'll post a server link in the comment section down below. But anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Now, ever since I got this unit, I've been testing her out and seeing her potential. And since I'm not far off in the game, if I come over here, now this is just the PTR version. This isn't the official global server. So I'm like 77k power right now and I'm at like stage 56 so you know I'm slowly progressing but if I come over to resonating hall and we look at coca now this unit right I don't think she is a pretty broken unit but her special skill like her ultimate is insane so let's go ahead and read it it says coco inspires herself and all allies and grants them a 45 percent damage reduction for 12 seconds that is crazy a 45 percent damage reduction for 12 seconds and on top of that you can also increase that percentage the more you level up her ultimate and i'm pretty sure the max is 55 percent so that is actually insane let's continue it says the reduced damage will be recorded and settled once a true once as true damage when the skill duration ends when the skill takes effect allies gain 30 life drain and 10 percent attack while active, the effect cannot be dispelled and prevents Coco from recasting the skill. So, reading her ultimate, it seems like she's going to gain three buffs. Not not three buffs, but she's basically going to provide three buffs to the team. She's going to give your team additional damage reduction. It's going to give uh, your team life drain and also additional attack. So, her ultimate right off the bat is just absolutely crazy. Now, when we look at her skills... Uh, she basically heals the weakest ally that's all i get from it and also she grants them 10 percent additional attack for five seconds and it says coco also feeds pato to recover 350 percent hp every 15 seconds increasing 20 composure for seven seconds so this looks this is looking good like the fact that she's granting additional attack and also healing allies who are extremely weak that is just so dope and then for the next skill right here she basically deals damage and she's also going to increase the enemy's damage taken for the next five seconds if there's an enemy within her adjacent tiles Pato will smash the ground dealing 210 percent damage to adjacent enemies and stunning them for three seconds this effect can only be triggered once every eight seconds so every eight seconds she is going to basically reduce the amount of basically she's going to inflict a uh, how can i say this she's basically going to increase the amount of damage the enemy can take by 10 percent for five seconds which is crazy and she can do this every eight seconds so looking at her kit so far man like the team that i was able to organize with her is of course cishia i was able to use cishia um this unit right here this unit is so good because she buffs attack speed which is so good with cishia and this guy is basically our tank unit and of course we have coca she's basically going to be our damage reduction provider and on top of that attack buff and healer and then she is going to be our main healer as well so this unit is just really good overall now i tested her against this boss right here if i come over here to battle modes and we come to the dream realm now this boss the reason why i feel like coca is a great unit to test against his boss is because if we look at this boss's ultimate um, if i click this right here it says when energy is full gains a magic barrier and but does not recover okay that was kind of weird right there i think that was a typo um does not recover energy while this barrier is in effect when taking damage loses 75 energy and reduces this damage by 50 percent so basically when this boss casts its ultimate it's going to lose energy but at the same time he's also going to reduce the amount of damage he takes by 50 percent and if you guys haven't read a uh, coca's kit she can basically reduce the she can basically increase the damage this boss can take so if you're using if you're using coca you're initially you're basically going to he's basically you're basically going to reduce the 50 percent to 40 percent because of coca's active skill which is going to reduce which is basically going to increase the amount of damage it's going to take by 10 so 
that's why she's actually pretty solid against this boss so what we're gonna do is let me go ahead and click battle let's go ahead and try to see how good this team can perform now of course we can of course try other allies like other units so i'm gonna try this team first and then i'm gonna try to use other teams as well so let's go ahead and let's do these attempts all right so that attempt was actually pretty solid so let's go ahead and check and see the stats right here so see she was able to do a lot of damage right there but for that attempt you guys can see that the life dream that coco was able to provide to the team was really really good and we were able to survive a lot longer and we did do some good damage now for my next attempt i'm going to try to readjust this team now i noticed that our tank unit pretty much died early there so this boss he does do a lot of damage depending on how close your allies are to him so i'm going to try to use a unit probably probably like um a ranged unit or we can probably use this guy he's gonna do some melee attacks and go up close but i want to see how much damage we can do with just dps units and coco as our main i'll say she's more of like a support slash tank unit i'll say but anyways let's go ahead and check this attempt out All right, so for triple DPS, I'll say that wasn't really insane, but we did do a lot more damage right there. So looking at Coco's performance, I can definitely say that this unit, she's pretty good. I can definitely see how she's good against bosses who apply that damage reduction. And on top of that, the fact that she's able to apply the life drain, that is really useful. Like, let's say your team is about to die, and as soon as she does her ultimate, your team is just going to kill themselves. And on top of that, they're going to receive less damage so she's a pretty insane unit like like i said i feel like elite units in this game like I, I feel like you can literally make every elite unit in this game pretty good depending on how you use them and which teams you put them in because she's like an elite unit every unit you see right here that's purple they're pretty much elites and the yellows are just um epics and you can basically ascend them to supreme plus so yeah this unit is actually pretty good now this is the thing i literally have couple summons right here so we're gonna go ahead and pop these summons first now for vala i don't think we can get more copies on vala but we can do a multi-summon on vala and we're going to reach 20 pity so let's go ahead and pop the vala summon real quick i'm hoping we can at least get her i actually really want to check her out and see how good she is so first summon right here come on yellow uh we didn't get yellow right there now i will take a coco copy let's see Okay, I'll take the Seth copy. Seth is actually pretty good. So we're going to back out. And let's go ahead. Oh, we got an achievement right there. Oh, that's a covenant letter. All right, so we can literally get a guaranteed epic right here. So let's go ahead and pop this. Okay, what is it going to be this time? Nice. Okay, here we go. I wonder what it's going to be. Okay, I actually don't even use this guy. I don't even use him, to be honest. I'm hoping we can get, like, a support unit. Ooh, let's go. I'll take the loosest copy. Let's go. Okay. Valen. I mean, Valen isn't a bad unit to use in the beginning of the game, but not really using him. Who's the... Ooh, yes! Yo, this guy, he is an amazing battery unit. 
yeah smoky this guy is a really good battery unit really really nice okay we're gonna go ahead and skip that okay that was an but that was a really good summon right there this guy is actually pretty good he's like one of the top battery units in the game so really really dope all right let's go ahead and pop a, another summon let's see if we can get another epic and if we don't get an epic i really want to get some more coca copies all right so one elite let's go ahead and skip that another valent copy all right pop another one Ooh. okay we got two elites right there what did we get skip this okay seth nice all right this is our last one dang it okay so we only got one epic right there but i will take that epic because that guy is a really good battery unit so we're gonna get out of here and let's head on over to Res resonating hall yeah this guy is an awesome battery unit he is so good like literally almost every single person in his game is literally using him in pvp because he's just an amazing battery unit like if we look at his and yeah, look at this like he recovers 50 energy um he increases attack and additional energy per second like the fact that he recovers energy per second is crazy five energy per second is insane and he can also heal this unit is just one of the top support units in the game for sure so can't wait to check this unit out i'm definitely going to use him but that's pretty much where i'm going to leave this video i uh, just wanted to show you guys coco's potential now i think this is pretty good concerned that the game we're like 16 days away from the official global launch of this game so i feel like the ptr version is definitely helpful especially for you know content creators who are making videos on this game because we can basically give you guys some tips and advice on characters who are soon going to come in the game in the global version so as soon as the global launch comes you guys will literally know which characters to invest in if you want to have an optimized account but anyways i hope you all enjoyed this video make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe if you haven't i really appreciate it and i'll be catching you guys on the next one peace